Hello everyone, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition and today I figured I'd bring you a review of Lure. We don't have Resvon right now because she's taking care of the baby. So, let's see if we can get through this as fast as we can. It's supposed to be a, a quick playing game, let's see if we can do a quick playing uh, review. So Lure is from All Play Games, it's for 2-5 to five players, it takes 15 minutes to play and it's for ages um, 7 and up, 7 plus, right? So let me grab my handy dandy little dashboard thing over here, right? So let's get into this. The theme of it, you're fishing. It's a, it's a fishing themed game. Let me see where are my cards. Here are your cards. You get all these fishes. Does it sound boring to you? It shouldn't because it's really not, but it's, it's a fishing themed game, right? So that's the mechanics. Um, the, not the mechanics, it's the theme, right? The mechanics, it's auction, um, it's auctioning, uh, bidding, I, and I, I put dice rolling um, because, right, you have these sets of dice, you can watch the how to play to see how you go through everything that we did, but you have these sets of dice, right? You have some regular dice and some special dice, and you roll them, and you're trying to catch the fish based on the numbers that you get on these dice. Now, why it's bidding is the person with the lowest dice in their hand gets to go first. So you kind of get to bid yourself into getting the fish. So you're trying to guess how many dice you need to roll to kind of get the fish or the fishes. The, well, it's fish is plural. So the fish that you want, singular, single or plural. Singular or plural. There you go. So you're rolling dice, you're bidding on it, right? You also have the lures that you could put out there. You get these different lures and you get extra abilities. Try to see how much you want to spend for that um, set up of fish. All right, and then of course the dice rolling because there's dice, right? There's dice in it. So that's the mechanics. Auction slash bidding. This is a, a um, board game geek kind of thing. Um, and dice rolling. I'm not disagreeing with board game geek. I think dice rolling is probably part of the mechanics of this. All right, ease of teaching, ease of play. So if you watch the how to play, I told you guys notoriously that on the back of the box, it says you can teach it in one minute. Maybe. Um, it took. I think the video took me about seven minutes to go over everything, right? Now, if you're just telling people, roll the dice, pick your cards, bet, roll the dice, pick your cards, yeah, you can teach that in a minute. But um, is it easy to teach, easy to play? Yeah. It's really easy to teach. It's really easy to play, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give it an easy for teaching and playing. Now, replayability, I would say is uh, okay to good. You have, I forget how many cards. Do I have them all here? Nope, I got some here and some here. Let's throw them all together. You have man, a deck of cards. It'd be nice um, to have maybe half more than this. But it's, it's pretty um, good. I would say at least good because you have this deck of cards. You don't know how it's going to turn out. You can't guarantee what fish you're going to get. There's luck. There's the building and everything. So let's go with good, right? The replayability on it is uh, pretty good. Now, production. I put the production at good. Um, I could put it at really good. There's not much to complain about. The cardboard's nice, um, solid. It's not like a sponge. It's a nice, solid cardboard for the tokens. Um, the dice are all fun. These are dice. They have, uh, I don't know if I'd say special numbers, but they're, it, they are. They're um, handcrafted. Handcrafted number. No, these aren't handcrafted dice. Um, they have, they're not your normal dice, right? So they're, yeah, they're your um, six sided and then what is it, a 10 and a 20. But the numbers on there definitely are the same as how Lure is spelled. So that's really cool in the production. The screens, I don't know all you want to ask for with the screens. They're a little flimsy. Um, it really is just to hide what you're throwing into your hand. I mean, you can easily do it under the table and skip the screens. But it also has all this extra information inside, which helps you teach the game and helps people understand what's going on. Um, so production, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it good. Even the box, why do I keep doing that? Even the box, right? The box is a is a nice um, solid box. I don't know if you can tell it's solid by clicking on it, right? Nice solid box. So there's that. Um, then we have value versus cost. So I got this in um, a Kickstarter with um, All Plays Other Game River Valley Glasswork. I'm gonna have to get that, um, learn how to play it, get it played, and do it, all that for that one. We really need to get back into the um, how to plays and reviews. Um, and, 
you know, the, the doing online, the kickstarting crowdfunding stuff. All right. But anyways, um, we're doing everything we can in between baby. So, um, cost versus value back to cost versus value. I would say it's okay. So when I got it with, um, River Valley Glassworks, it's right over there out of camera view. Um, it was $15 more. I'm willing to swear is $15 more um, for it. And I thought, cool, whatever. I'll pick this up too. It looks kind of fun. It looks like it'll be a fun little game. Now MSRP, you can go out and pick it up at um, like miniature market and stuff like that. And it is, um, the MSRP for it is $19, right? Um, but as usual, you can get these games. If you look around, if you don't have to buy it right as soon as it comes out and stuff like that, you can usually get it for about five bucks off. I saw it for $16.99 at a couple sites online. But at $19, it's a decent game. One of the things I like about it for $19 is it's obviously travel. It's, the other thing is it's a quick, fun filler game. You kind of just throw it out there, tell everyone how to play it really quick, and you play it. So I would put at the MSRP 19 would I necessarily have bought it for 20 Depends. If we were out traveling or we were going to travel and I was looking for a new game to try to play, I might have been like, yeah, screw it. Let's grab it for 20. So it's at okay. Now, w would I uh, play the game? Yeah. If someone asked if they want to play this game, um, I would get it out and um, get people to sit down and play it. Or I'd sit down and play it, right? If someone's like, hey, let's play Lure. I'd be like, okay, cool. Let me go grab it. Now, would I ask people to play the game? Yeah, I would. This is definitely, I think, going to be in my group of travel ones um, with some looking over here cause off camera over here. We got a lot of our travel games. Um, yeah, this would be in there um, with some of these other travel games uh, that we have that we can play um, because it's small, compact and it's fun. I also like dice rolling. So if you like dice rolling, this game was is probably going to be fun for you. I like dice rolling. Um, and if you like uh, fishing, you don't necessarily have to like fishing because this goes to the production value. Um, the art is fun. It's it's uh, cartoony art, but it's a bunch of different fish. Why is this guy upside down? But the art is is good art too. So would I ask to play it? Yes. Would I um, play it if someone asked me? Of course. So that is kind of how I look at it. So lure, right? This is the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's from All Play Games. It's for two to five players. It's ages seven plus and it takes about 15 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Steven with Cardboard Coalition. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.